Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Walgreens exclusive Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Boba Fett prototype armour. So this recolor of Boba Fett comes in the newer style Black Series packaging. The big difference being we now have a blue tint instead of a red tint. And the clear section of the box has been opened out slightly to allow for some of the larger figures. At first I like these boxes but they've gotten old so quickly. To the point where I'm just not interested anymore. This black section is such a waste of space. If they'd put some artwork on there, we could line all the figures up and be able to see who they are. But as they stand now, it's just totally uninspired. At least the bio on this one that put some effort into it isn't just the usual two lines. And this image on the back seems to be a drawn version of how Boba Fett was first seen in his prototype armour in a promotional video. There's something else that bugs me with this figure. Walgreens exclusive? Really? That's just encouraging the scalpers. In the UK, we don't have a chance of getting these from a Walgreens. But I'm willing to bet in the States these are tricky to get to. Those resellers are just going to buy them all up. Which kind of works to our advantage over here, because at least we can get hold of them. So, all morning aside, this figure's actually pretty nice. Albeit he is an extremely lazy release. If you know the prototype armour in any kind of detail, you'll be able to spot mistakes all over the place on this. But because he is just a simple repaint, it's kind of to be expected. For example, on his helmet there's a dent. On the actual prototype armour, the dent wasn't present yet, that was added later. Another error that can be forgiven is the prototype armour doesn't feature the holster. That just had a loop that held the gun. But in fairness, the holster does make the figure look better. But it's not all bad, the tip of the rocket they actually got absolutely spot on. And it's good to see that this figure comes with a white cape, because just reusing the Boba Fett cape would have been extremely lazy. So this Boba Fett figure comes with two weapons, the first of which is this small gun. The mould is identical to the regular Boba Fett, which is slightly incorrect. However, there's no paint application on this at all, it's just solid plastic. But as they did actually add a holster to this, it does make storage nice and easy. And then we have his larger blaster rifle, and again this is just black plastic. The version that comes with the retail release does look a lot nicer. However, this is a completely wrong gun. But then, to be fair, that was just a toy gun that they held for demonstration purposes. So you might think that I don't like this figure. Well, I do. I think he's great. I just find it really annoying that they'd make something like this as an exclusive. For someone who doesn't live in the States, exclusives are a pain in the ass. But if you really want these things, well, you've just got to pay the price. And I'm hoping it's not as exclusive as it sounds, because this figure should be available to everybody. Because it's a really good figure. So there you go guys, the Black Series 6 inch prototype armour Boba Fett. This is Luke, thanks for watching.